Hello, basketball fans, and once again, welcome to Eden High School, home of the Eden Bombers. Will be the home team in the upcoming championship game of the Route 49 Classic for Boys of Varsity Basketball. Going to be start starting here shortly. Hi, everybody. I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television here along with Chris Warner to bring you the championship game. Just the two of us tonight. Jim Siler not able to make it this evening. So there's nothing wrong with Jim or anything like that. He had another, he had a family, you know, it's, it's the holidays, so he had a family get-together thing. So, you know, I'm the one that's under the weather. So, as I mentioned at the start of our first live stream, if I take some pauses and I maybe am not as loquacious with my play-by-play -play as I normally am. That's the reason why. A little bit under the weather here tonight. It's going to be Antwerp and Eden for the championship coming up here shortly. Glad to have you with us. I want to say a big thank you to the Eden Athletic Department and Mr. Ripke, their athletic director, giving us the space and permission to live stream the coverage for you. Appreciate that an awful lot. And we also want to thank our underwriters making our coverage possible here this evening our diamond level supporters the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville Ohio APT manufacturing solutions of Hicksville Ohio the Hicksville pharmacy located in the heart of downtown Hicksville Ohio subway of Hicksville our gold level supporter and our bronze level supporter with us for all of our Route 49 coverage the Hicksville Bank in downtown Hicksville. I want to thank all of them so very, very much. And uh, we're looking forward to a game here tonight. Uh, a big crowd, and already uh, you can sort of feel the excitement in the air. Uh, both these teams played exceptionally well. Antwerp, Antwerp was looking like a powerhouse on Monday night. I think, uh, I think when all was said and done in their in their opening round game, I think they had like 13 three-point shots. I don't have the stats here in front of me, but I think it was 12 or 13 three-point shots that they hit. And uh, the young man uh, number, wears number 10 for Antwerp, Jagger Landers, uh, went over three went over a thousand points for his career. And uh, Eden played a hard game against uh, the uh, Aces. Winning by two points, 50 to 48. And uh, they, uh, they looked pretty good too. So it's going to be an interesting matchup between these two schools. And we're looking forward to bringing you all the action here tonight. Uh, for, the night, for tonight's game, the uh, home team will, of course, be the home team, the Eden Bombers. And... The visitors on the scoreboard will be the Antwerp Archers. So we'll begin with the Antwerp Archers starting lineup for tonight. Mercy Juniors, Nikki Collins, Desi Dunkel, Alaya Peterson, So for the Antwerp Archers, they're starting five this evening. Will be number four, Caden Recker. Recker, a uh, six foot one senior. Number five is Gage McMichael. McMichael also a senior at six feet. Number 10, Jagger Landers. Landers, a six foot seven senior. And I said, I think he finished up last night with 1,001 points. Uh, is he 1,001 or 1,003? Something like that, but he broke 1,000. Also getting the start for Antwerp, number 12, that's Luke Kraus. Kraus, a 6'2 senior. And number 42, Landon Brewer. Landon Brewer, a 6'3 sophomore. So he's the only underclassman who starts everybody else seniors for the Antwerp Archers. Now over on the other side uh, for Eden, their starting lineup will begin with number two, Jack Berry. Berry, a six foot four senior. Number five is Caden Nestor. Nestor is a 6'2 junior. Number 11 is Gannon Ripke. Ripke, 
is a six foot one senior. Ethan Stanky wears number 12. Stanky is a 5'11 senior. And finally, the last starter for the uh, Eden Bombers is a number 33, Drew Gallahue. Gallahue, a 6'4 senior. The Antwerp Archers are coached by Doug Billman. And the head coach of the Eden Bombers, Mr. Matt Ripke. So, They finally caught up to us and introduced all the players. Nice title for the 33 for Eden. They call him the man in the middle. Yeah. He's the center. So he'll be he'll be matching up against uh, Jagger Landers in the center circle. As they'll get ready for the jump ball to start this contest. It'll be the championship game of the 2021 Route 49 Classic. And it's coming to you live from here at Eden High School. On the Hicks TV YouTube channel, again, Bill Murphy, Chris Warner. Glad to have you with us on this Thursday night. We were supposed to play these games on Tuesday, but we got snowed out. So we're back in action tonight. Balls up, tip is controlled by the Bombers. Ripke with the ball. We are underway. Ripke gets the ball to Nestor. Over to Barry. Nestor back to Barry. Barry for three. Off the rim, no good. Battle for the rebound. It's picked up by Landers. Landers toss the ball over to McMichael. Archers feed the ball inside, up and off the glass, and good for Jagger Landers. Ripke set to handle the inbound chores for Eden. Ripke with the ball to Gallahue. And that'll be a kick. And out of bounds, it'll stay with Eden. It was Brewer that got his leg up there. Barry will handle the inbounds. Barry back to Ripke. And back to Barry on the wing, down low to Gallahue. nothing there. And Barry caught the ball, but he was about a foot out of bounds when he did it. So it'll be a turnover back to the Archers. Antwerp leading 2-0 here early on. Championship game of the Route 49 Classic. Kraus with the ball for Antwerp. Kraus to Brewer. Brewer shot up, no good. And that'll stay with Antwerp. Four. 
Long inbounds. Michael with the ball. To Brewer. In and out, no good. Put back, no good. Barry with the ball for the Bombers. Crosses it to Ripke. Inside to Gallahue. And he'll draw the foul. That's going to be on Kraus. That'll be his first. Team foul number one for the Archers. Drew Gallahue at the line. Misses. He'll get one more. Gets that one. Gallahue with his first point and first point of the night for the Eden Bombers. It's a two to one game. Gage McMichael gets it over to Brewer. Landers, shot is up and that's good. Three for Luke Krause. Makes it a five to one game. Out of bounds. Lost the dribble and it goes back to Antwerp. Ahead by four, five to one. Krause gets the ball to McMichael. McMichael brings it up across half court. Down to Brewer. Brewer with a jump shot. In and out, no good. Ripke grabs the board. Tosses it down, up, and good for Nestor. Three to five, or five to three, I should say. Antwerp still leading by a bucket. Kraus for the Archers. Anders. Anders drives baseline, pitches it out. McMichaels puts it up, no good, and he'll draw the foul. That'll be the first one on Nestor. Team foul number one on Eden. And Gage McMichael at the line to shoot two. It's the first one. We did a game for Antwerp, number 11, Carson Altimus. Gets them both, McMichael does. Gallahue for Eden, over to Barry, Barry to Ripke. Now Nestor, and back to Ripke, back to Nestor. Loose on the floor. And it winds up in the hands of Landers. Gets it out top to McMichael. Kraus. Altimus and then back to McMichael. No good. Landers. Fade away. And it's good. That was a friendly bounce. Barry with the ball now for Eden into a double team. Gets it out of there. Shot up from the corner. No good. Ripke grabs the board. Gives it to Gallahue up and in.
A lot of people on Antwerp side saying. Two minutes and 50 seconds to go here in our opening quarter. It's a 9-5 game. The Antwerp Archers in the lead by four points. Antwerp inbounds. Gage McMichael brings the ball up. Landers. McMichael drives it in. Altimus puts the shot up. No good. Gallahue. Grabs the rebound to Ripke, quickly down the floor. Gallahue into the corner to Barry. Barry on the wing now. Bounce pass inside Gallahue. And we'll move it back out. goes out of bounds. It's going to stay with Eden. With two minutes left in the first quarter. And a quick substitution, number 14 for Eden. That's Carter Keys into the game. Ripke gets it into Gallahue, up and in. Five points now for Drew Gallahue as it's a two-point game, nine to seven. Shot up and good. Luke Kraus, five points now for Kraus. Making it 11 to seven. Back to a four-point lead. Ripke against Parker Moore. Gets it to Barry. Kick it back out to Ripke at the top of the key. Barry on the wing. Barry kicks it back out to Ripke again. We're going to have a reach in. And that'll be on Parker Moore. It'll be his first. Team foul number two on the Antwerp Archers. Into the game for the first time tonight, number 42, Cassius Holbert. Back out on the floor also, Nestor number five for Eden. Down low. That's Ripke. Ripke will bring it back out. Get it over to Keys. And back to Nestor. And that's picked off by Kraus. He'll give it to Landers. Landers to Weaver. Time will expire. I should have said Brewer. I think I said Weaver. I'm not sure where it came from. 
We played the first six, the first eight minutes, and at the end of the first quarter, it's the Antwerp Archers leading the Eden Bombers 11 to seven, our first quarter score. We'll take a break here between quarters and say a big thank you to one of our Diamond Level supporters making our coverage possible here from Eden High School. That's the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. If you're in the market for a vehicle, whether you want one that is brand new or pre-owned, be it a car, truck, van, or SUV, stop by and check out the selection they have on the lots, or you can check out the entire dealer inventory online anytime at jimschmidtauto.com. Don't see what you're looking for? Let the folks at Jim Schmidt know what you're interested in. They always do their level best to find you the vehicle that you want and one that will best suit you and your family's transportation needs. It's all about service before, during, and after the sale at the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick. Jim Schmidt Ford. And online at jimschmidtauto.com. We want to thank them so very much for their underwriting support of our Route 49 tournament basketball coverage here on Hicks TV. Well, we're going to get ready for quarter number two here. It's a four-point lead for the visitors on the scoreboard, the Antwerp Archers. Landon Brewer getting set to handle the inbound chores for the Archers. He'll bounce it in to Gage McMichael, and we're underway in the second quarter. Back to Brewer. Now to Landers. Behind the back dribble, nice move up and good. Landon Brewer with the bucket to make it 13 to seven. Gallahue back to Barry. To Nestor down in the corner and then back out to Barry on the wing. In and out, that's good. Three pointer for Barry. To make it 13 to 10. Cut that lead in half with one shot. And that's going to be on Brewer. His first and team foul. Nope, I take that back. It won't be on Brewer. Oh, okay. Nestor to Ripke on the wing. Ripke takes it into the paint, gets it to Holbert. Holbert over to Barry, whose three-point shot is long. Landers grabs the rebound for Antwerp. He'll give it over to Brewer. And up, and that one's no good from Caden Recker. Ripke comes back quickly the other way for Eden. Barry working his way close, puts it up, no good. Now we're gonna have a jump ball. That'll stay with the Bombers. Keese back into the game for Eden. Ripke looking around. Manages to get it into Barry. Yeah, 
And he'll lose that one. Out of bounds, and it'll be Antwerp's ball. Archers leading 13 to 10, 5.25 to go here before halftime. Shot is up. Off the back of the iron, no good. Ripke grabs the board for the Eden Bombers. Record giving him a little bit of a hard time coming up the court. Gets the bounce pass to Barry. Barry to Keys. And back to Ripke. Gallahue loses it. Picked up by Antwerp. And timeout. Archers retain possession with the quick timeout call. 441. And again, Antwerp leading 13 to 10 here in this Route 49 championship game. Our Route 49 tournament coverage is underwritten by our good friends at the Hicksville Bank, located in the heart of downtown Hicksville. Full service bank, able to take care of any and all of your family's banking needs. Want to find out more? Go online and check them out www.thb.bank want to thank them so very much for their underwriting support for all of our Route 49 game coverage our good friends at the Hicksville Bank located right in the heart of downtown Hicksville proud to have them as a bronze level supporter of Hicksville Community Television thank them so very much Archers with the ball Brewer to Altimus. Moving around, Landers with the ball now. Landers drives in, puts it up off glass and good. Six points now for Jagger Landers. Down low, and that one's picked off by Kraus. Quickly the other way, Brewer. Down the corner to Landers. Shot up. That's no good. Ultimus grabs the rebound, gets it off to Landers. Landers. Back out top of the key to Wrecker. Down low. Fade away, up and no good. Out of bounds, that'll go to Eden. Mason Steele comes into the game for the Archers. Gallahue will inbounds to Ripke. three-minute mark here in the second quarter. Out of bounds and back to the Archers. Push foul actually on number Yeah, push foul on number 22. Mason Steele. So it'll stay with the Bombers. Thank you, Christopher. Inbounds to Gallahue. And now to Barry. Barry takes it into the paint, puts it up and in. 15-12 now is again the Bombers cut it to just a three-point deficit. And that'll be a travel. Gage McMichael loses his footing.
Ripke to Barry. Back to Ripke on the wing, unloads a three, and it's good. And we're tied at 15. McMichael flips it over to Brewer. Brewer to Kraus. Back to Brewer. Kraus up and in. Gallahue in for a three. Oh my. And for the first time in a long time, I mean the first time ever, it's a Bombers lead, 18-17. Count it, and he's going to go to the line. Landon Brewer with the bucket, and he draws the foul. You know, you and Jim always say it comes down to free throws. Now I see what you guys can mean, yeah. that free throws can change the course of a game. <laughs> Ripke with his first foul. Brewer hits it. Five points for Landon Brewer. And it's 20 to 18 game now. Antwerp on top once again. Minute 18 to go before halftime. Barry drives into the paint. Kicks it back out. Shot up by Barry, no good. Gets the rebound, puts it up again, no good. That time it's Landers that grabs it. Now to Kraus. Luke Kraus back to Landers. Landers a long three and he smokes it home. Twenty-three eighteen. Ripke gets it to Nestor. Nestor and it's picked off by Landers. Gets it to Brewer. Brewer straight to the hoop, misses the shot. Follow up and a foul. McMichaels going to go to the line to shoot two. That'll be the second on Ripke. And that's team foul number three for the Bombers. Gage McMichael at the line to shoot two with 23.7 seconds. Misses the first one. Coming in for Antwerp, number four, Caden Recker. And for Eden, number 14, Carter Keese. One more for McMichael. Missed them both. Nestor grabs the rebound, gets it to Ripke. Ripke with 15 seconds. To Barry. Barry at top of the key with 10. Now to Nestor. Nestor top of the key with 5. Down low. Fade away. No good, and that's the end of the first half. Halftime of the Route 49 Classic Championship game. It's the Antwerp Archers leading the Eden Bombers by 5, 23 to 18, the halftime score. So while we've got some time here at the half, we'll say another big thank you to another one of our Diamond Level supporters making our coverage possible here on Hicksville Community Television, and that's APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio, located in Hicksville's Industrial Park, a world-class facility located right in, right in Hicksville, Ohio, where they offer robotic palleting and packaging solutions, welding, powder coating, and more. Find out about the many services that they have available at APT Manufacturing Solutions. Check them out online at aptmfg.com. I say that because they do so much stuff that it's kind of hard to be able to give you a list because you always leave something out when I'm just trying to talk about it. So get the complete inside story 
aptmfg.com. And they are hiring, too. They're looking to fill some slots. So if you're looking for an opportunity to perhaps start a new career, improve on the skills you already have, start a second career. Again, log on, aptmfg.com slash careers. You'll see all of the opportunities that they have available for you at APT Manufacturing Solutions. You can also fill out an application, upload your resume, do all that online. They'd love to hear from you. And we want to thank them so very much for their diamond level support of all of our Aces Sports broadcasts across all of our platforms, all levels of play, from the junior high all the way through the varsity. Tony Nyswander and everyone else at APT Manufacturing Solutions. Remember, anytime you see Aces Sports action on Hicksville Community Television, they're the ones that help make it possible. Our good friends, APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio, located in Hicksville's Industrial Park and online at aptmfg.com slash careers. <coughs> we reached halftime, and of course, we'll step aside here briefly, but Christopher and I will be back, and we will have all the exciting second half play-by-play -play coming your way right here on Hicks TV. Welcome back. It's about uh, 90 seconds before we get the third quarter underway here at the Eden High School gym, home of the Bombers. And uh, we're at the midway point of the uh, championship game of the Boys Varsity Route 49 Classic for 2021. Bill and Chris, glad to have you with us. Let's uh, take a look at some of the uh, unofficial scoring here for the first half. And uh, at halftime, if you're just joining us, it's the Antwerp Archers leading the Eden Bombers 23 to 18. So let's start with Eden. Uh, their leading scorer was uh, Drew Gallahue. Gallahue in the first half had a couple of buckets, a three-pointer, and a free throw for eight total points. Uh, next up was uh, Jack Berry. Berry with a three-pointer and a bucket for two, and that's a total of five. Gannon Ripke had a three-pointer and three points, and Caden Nestor a bucket and two. That adds up to 18, so that checks. And for the Archers, their leading scorer was uh, Jagger Landers. Landers had three buckets and a three-pointer for nine. Following behind him, Luke Kraus. Kraus with a couple of buckets and a three-pointer for seven. Landon Brewer had a couple of buckets and a free throw for five. And Gage McMichael, two free throws for two. And I think I'm missing one. Who are you missing one for? Uh, Number 12 has one for Antwerp. Now let's see. It's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20. Okay, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. So we're back into action. Archers with the ball to start the third quarter. Landers almost losing the dribble, but hangs on to it. Brewer puts it up, no good. It'll go out of bounds. It'll be Eden's ball. Ripke with it for Eden. They're down by five. Ripke gets it across half court. Long pass. Ripke top of the key. Back to Nestor. Nestor into the paint, puts it up, no good. And Landers skies it to get the board. It gets it to Kraus. Kraus bounce pass to Brewer gets it in to Wrecker, who puts it up and in for two. 25 to 18, Ripke having some 
difficulty, manages to get out. Get across the timeline. Gets it to Nestor. Stolen away, and here come the archers, Landers. Landers, and that's gonna be on Gallahue. Drew Gallahue is gonna pick up his first foul. Team foul number one for the Bombers. Trailing 25-18. Kraus inbounds to Landers. Now work it around the perimeter, Ultimus. Back to Landers, Landers hits it, long two. Ripke gets it out of there to Barry. And Barry's gonna be fouled by Wrecker. Caden Recker will pick up the Archers' first foul of the second half. Steinke, back to Ripke. They'll kick it out, top to Gallahue. Gallahue to Barry, out to Nestor. And back to Ripke, Ripke. Nestor in the wing. And out to Gallahue. Barry. Nestor puts the shot up, no good, gets his own rebound. And he'll kick it back out to Barry, they'll reset their offense. Barry drives in. Yeah. So Barry will get the bucket and the free throw. And that'll be Krause's second. And team foul number two on Antwerp. So Barry looking to complete the three-point play. And he does. Here come the archers now, still up by six. Landers and quickly over to McMichael. And back to Brewer. Ultimus puts it up off glass and in. Stolen away by Landers. Bounce pass to Ultimus. Puts it up and in. Oh, what a nice play by Ultimus. Nice shot. 31-21, it's out to a 10-point lead now for the Archers. And a timeout on the floor. Called by the Bombers. Twenty-one thirty-one. Antwerp leads. Time out. We want to say a big thank you to Subway of Hicksville, our gold level supporter and proud sponsor of the Subway Player of the Game we give out at the end of each Aces varsity basketball broadcast that we do. Subway of Hicksville, a great place to stop before or after the game or any time really. Reminding you to download the app on your mobile device. To take advantage of great in-app specials. You can get curbside delivery. 
order ahead. They'll have your sandwiches ready for you to pick up. You just stop in, walk in, pick them up, and you're on your way. I want to thank them so very much for their support. Gold level support of all of our basketball broadcasts and also the Subway player of the game. Subway of Hicksville. Up and in for Landers. Ripke now with the ball for Eden. And that's going to be on Ultimus, I believe. Yep. Ultimus picks up his first personal. Team foul number three for the Archers. 33-21. Antwerp up by a dozen. Barry to Ripke, down low to Gallahue. Nothing there, Gallahue flips it back to Barry, and Barry's going to draw the foul. That'll be the uh, first one on Brewer. Team foul number four. That one's good for Barry. He'll get one more. See if he can cut the Archer's lead to 10. And he does. 33-23. Here comes Antwerp. Kraus gets it down to Ultimus. Ultimus to Landers. Wrecker. Tried to get it down low to Landers, deflected. And here come the Bombers. Barry to Ripke. Back to Barry, inside to Gallahue. Bounce pass on the baseline is taken away by Antwerp. Now Landers to Ultimus. Kraus, Brewer. And back to Landers. Long one and that's good. Luke Kraus dials up long distance for three to make it 36-23. Ripke to Gallahue to Barry. Back to Ripke. Barry down in the corner. Takes the shot. No good. Landers clears the board. Now to Brewer. Brewer kicks it back. Landers. No good. Put back. Up. No good. There's Ripke trying to get it in there. And now to Barry the other way with the Bombers. I should say that was Wrecker that tried that. There's Gannon Ripke. Gallahue up off glass and good. Ten points now for Drew Gallahue. Still an 11 point lead for the Archers. 36 to 25 of the three-pointer, and that one rings home too. Luke Kraus. 13 points now for Kraus. As the Archers go up now by 14, 39 to 25 with a minute 32 to go here in quarter number three. Timeout on the floor. Time to say another big thank you to our bronze level supporter making coverage of all of the Route 49 Classic games possible here on Hicksville Community Television. Our friends at the Hicksville Bank, located right in the heart of downtown Hicksville and online at www.thb.bank. Offering a full range of banking services for you and your family. 
and a proud member of the Hicksville community. I want to thank them so very much for their underwriting support. The Hicksville Bank, located in the heart of downtown Hicksville, and again online at www.thb.bank. Back into action. Gallahue gets it into Ripke for the Bombers. Pressure being put on by the Archers. Barry facing off against Brewer. Gets it off to Ripke. Ripke down into the corner to Nestor. Nestor drives it into the paint. Nothing there. Kicks it back out to Ripke. Back to Barry and then to Ripke on the wing. Ripke drives in. Gets it to Gallahue. Gallahue tries to work, muscle his way in, and he does. Off the glass and good. 39-27, still a 12-point lead for the Archers. Under a minute to go here. Brewer off the iron, no good. McMichael back to Brewer. Brewer bounce pass. That's picked up by Kraus. Kraus with 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Loose on the floor and out of bounds. <coughs> Bounced off of Lander's foot. Unfortunately, when it hit Lander's foot, half of Lander's foot was out of bounds on the baseline. Barry bounce pass to Ripke with 15 seconds and a foul. on Landers. Jaggers first. Team foul number five on the Archers. 15.2 seconds. Ripke gets the ball inbounds to Barry. Back to Ripke. It should be inbounds to Steinke. Back to Ripke. Now Barry has the ball. Barry falls down. Scooped up by Brewer. Brewer behind the back dribble. Loses it. But it comes right back to him. No good. So that's the end of the third quarter, and it's a 12-point lead for the Archers after three, 39 to 27. The score. And so we'll uh, give another thank you to another Diamond Level supporter here between quarters, and that'll be the, the Hicksville Pharmacy. Located right in the heart of downtown Hicksville, your locally owned and operated family independent pharmacy. Myers family, I want to thank them so very much. A diamond level supporter for Hicksville Community Television. Offering a full range of pharmaceutical services for you and your entire family. They also have over the counter medications, medical equipment. Nice Michigan and Ohio stuff as well. That is true. Reading cards. Just a terrific store. It's fun to go in and kind of browse around. We want to thank them so very much. They are with us underwriting all of our Aces sports coverage, all sports, all levels, junior high all the way up through varsity, across all of our platforms. We have a lot of platforms. We've got uh, the Hicks TV channel on YouTube and the video on demand on our YouTube page as well, Facebook Live, Instagram, Mediacom Channel 12, and SMTA Channel 8. And as well as on Twitter. So I want to thank, again, the Hicksville Pharmacy, located in the heart, downtown Hicksville. Back into action here, 7.50 to go. Bounce pass. Gallahue deflected. Antwerp comes up with it. Brewer quickly down to Landers. Michael back to Landers. Landers.
to Wrecker. Back to Landers. Landers turns around and gets it stuck. That happened, la that happened on Monday too, didn't it? Uh, no, that happened at the girls' Route 49 right. Classic. Because it's the second time we've seen that. I thought it happened to your two on my, oh well. It almost happened, but it bounced back out. Brewer, a little alley-oop pass, saved by Landers. Back down to Wrecker. Wrecker, Kraus, got it. You know, that is actually the fourth time Landers has saved the ball this game successfully. Yep. Kraus makes it a 41-27 game. Ripke coming back the other way for the Bombers. And offensive foul on Nestor. That'll be Caden Nestor's second. And team foul number two on the Eden Bombers. Ball inbounds to McMichael. He'll take it across midcourt. Nestor comes out to meet him. Bounce pass to Kraus. Kraus takes it into the paint, puts it up, and he'll draw the foul. That'll be uh, Barry's first. Team foul number three on Eden. And Luke Kraus at the line to shoot two. Gets the first one. Get one more. Gets them both. Seventeen points for Kraus. Landers up and no good. Landers with the rebound back to Brewer. Brewer puts it up and in. Timeout on the floor. Forty-five to twenty-seven. And, and a technical. a technical foul on Coach Matt Ripke. <laughs> Coach Ripke not happy. Looked like he let an accidental word and slip. I couldn't tell who he was yelling at. He was yelling at somebody and got the tee. What it looked like from my point, he was yelling at the uh, Antwerp coaches. It's been a long time since we've seen a technical. <laughs> I think about probably two years ago we've seen one. Yeah. So anyhow... Technical foul, so we'll wait to see how that's going to shake out here. 6-11 to go, and again, the Antwerp Archers just uh, had, uh, has caught fire, had a bit of a run, and uh, ran the lead out to 45-27. And again, Coach Ripke, not happy. Yeah. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> so it'll be Jagger Landers to shoot the technical free throws. Which that's three, correct? Uh, I think it should be two shots. Landers. Ooh, oh, misses it. That went everywhere but in the basket. Yeah, I was about to say. Landers will get one more. Gets that one. Yep, you are correct. It is too. Yep. 14 points now for 14 points now for Landers. And it'll be Archer's ball. Kraus inbounds to McMichaels.
Brecker back to Brewer now. Brewer to Jagger, Landers. And then back to Caden Recker. Down low to Landers. He'll kick it back out. Prowse for three. Automatic. Foul number four. I think that's going to be on Gage McMichael. Barry misses the free throw. So just the two points for him. 49-29. It's a 20-point game. Wrecker to Krause to McMichael. Back to Krause. Now to Brewer. Krause again, misses it that time. McMichael, and he'll draw the foul against, I think, Gallahue. Nope, not Gallahue, it'll be against Keese. That's Keese's first, team foul number five for the Bombers. McMichael misses the first one. Gallahue, he misses them both. Gallahue with the rebound, he gets it to Ripke. Out of bounds. Back to the Antwerp Archers. Cassius Holbert coming out of the game, back in. Number five, Caden Nestor. McMichael with the ball for the Archers. They're up by 20. Kraus. Out to Landers. Landers driving in, feeds it out to Brewer. Off the iron, no good. Now we're gonna have a whistle and a foul. I think that one might be on Kraus. Yep. Luke Kraus will pick up his third. And that'll be team foul number seven. So the Bombers in the bonus now. We'll go down to the other end and shoot some free throws. Jack Berry at the line to shoot one and one as uh, Holbert will come in for Gallahue. Berry. Hits the front end. We'll have one more. Gets them both. Landers. Off the glass, no good. Holbert with the rebound. Gets it out of there to Ripke. Ripke over to Barry. Barry puts it up, no good. Brewer grabs the rebound for the Archers. Over to Kraus. Kraus to Wrecker. And now to Landers and back to Brewer. Yeah. 
Nice pass up and good for Caden Recker. Under three and a half minutes to go in the contest. 20 point lead for the Archers, 51 to 31. Nestor with the ball for the Eden Bombers. Now to Keese. Keese back to Nestor. Nestor drives in, puts it up off the glass and good. And a timeout called. 304. 51 to 33. The Archers with the lead. Three timeouts remaining for Antwerp and uh, only one left in the back pocket of the coaching staff for the Eden Bombers. Glad to have you with us. Hope you are enjoying our live stream coverage here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. It's a championship game of the Eden, and the championship game of the Route 49 Classic between the Eden Bombers and the Antwerp Archers. Earlier tonight, if you uh, missed it, our first live stream in the consolation game, it was the Hicksville Aces defeating the Edgerton Bulldogs 45 to 37 for a third place finish in the tournament. Bouncing back after a tough loss on Monday to the Eden Bombers, 40 to 38. We'll get ready to get back on onto the court. Antwerp with the ball. Altimus over to Wrecker. Kraus. Kraus driving it in. And he'll draw the foul. And that'll be on Kyler Sapp, number 23. And that's team foul number six. Kraus will shoot two. Gets the first one. Kraus has had a whale of a night tonight. I think we know who might be on the all-tournament team for yeah. Antwerp. Steele comes in. And so does uh, number 14, Caden Ferris for Antwerp. Second one for Kraus, also good. Come back the other way. Long three is good. Carter Keys hits the three pointer to make it a 53 to 36 game. Carson Altimus gets the ball knocked out of bounds. Coming out of the game, Luke Krause, number 12. Inbounds. That's to Reed Leasty. Rebound from Jaden Craven. And that's Cohen Holbert down on the floor. Shot is up and good. That's Kyler Sapp. We go under two minutes left in the contest. The younger players are in on both sides of the ball now. Shot up, three banger is good from Parker Moore. 56-38. Spin move, nothing there. Shot up, no good. Battle for the rebound. Up top, shot is up, no good. Rebound comes down to number 14, Caden Ferris. Down the other end of the floor, Ferris feeds it down low. That's Steele, puts it up and in. <laughs> 58-38, back to a 20-point lead. 
close in on one minute to go here in this championship game. Carter Keese, long pass. That's the sap, and it's stolen away. It'll stay with the archers. That's a good move by Carson Ultimus, who will come out of the game. As he bounced that one off of the... Oh, I guess they're going to say no, he didn't. Okay, I thought he bounced it off of him and out of bounds. I think his foot was out of bounds yeah. when he tried to do it. That would, that would make... That would explain it. Sap with the ball for Eden. Keese, no good. Quickly down the other end, and it's another turnover. 34 seconds. Beastie with the ball for the Archers. Kind of hang on to it here, Moore. Moore to Fuller. Fuller with seven. And they're just gonna hold it. And that'll do it, your final score. It's the Antwerp Archers defeating the Eden Bombers 58 to 38, the final score. So let me do some quick tabulations here. And we'll get you unofficial scoring. So here we go. Again, your final score here in the championship game. It was the Antwerp Archers defeating the Eden Bombers 58 to 38. And coming up shortly, we're going to have the, uh, the the presentation of the trophy. They'll name the all-tournament team. And when we get to that point, we may just uh, go down to the floor announcer as we did uh, in, the, in the past. But let me run down the unofficial scoring for you. No, as a matter of fact, why don't we just, we're going to turn it down and we'll, we'll, we'll go to the floor announcer. We'll disconnect the headset microphones here. And then I'll be back and we'll give you unofficial scoring when we get done with the, well, maybe not. Let me go and I'll, I'll work on the unofficial scoring. For the Eden Bombers, they were led by Jack Berry, who finished up with 14 points overall. And then also in double figures was Drew Gallahue. Gallahue finished up the night with 12 unofficially. After that, it was four points for Caden Nestor, three for Ripke, three for Carter Keese, and two points for Kyler Sapp. On the Antwerp side of the ball, their leading scorer was Luke Kraus. Kraus, seven points in the first half, but he added a few more in the second half to finish with 22 points to lead all scorers tonight. Also in double figures for the Archers was Jagger Landers, who finished the night with 14. After that, it was seven points for Landon Brewer, then uh, four points each for Carson Ultimus and for uh, Caden Recker, three points for Parker Moore, and two points each for Gage McMichael and for Mason Steele. So with that, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to disconnect the headset microphones and we're going to go to the onboard mics and we'll go down to the floor announcer for the presentation of the traveling trophy and the naming of the all-tournament team. And then we'll be back to wrap it up, but we'll head down to the floor now to finish up the award ceremony of this year's Route 49 Classic for the boys. Um, so thank you all for coming out, and we'll have the awards here uh, in just a second.
right, at this time we're ready to start our uh, award ceremony. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, Rob Petro, an avid sports fan, spent his entire adult life writing sports stories for the Private Times, and then started his own paper for the Northwest Scholastic the Journal to give athletes and scholars their due. He loves sports and he loves young people. All of those who do it appreciate his efforts to promote local sports. His passing at an early age was a loss for all. We honor him and all he did by naming the Route 49 Classic all tournament teams in his honor. First recipient from Edgerton High School, Corey Everett. So with that, they named the all-tournament team, and congratulations to all of those young men, Josh Myers from uh, Hicksville, and uh, again, uh, just uh, Luke Kraus and Jagger Landers and uh, Landon Brewer from uh, Antwerp, uh, just having a, a whale of a night tonight. So congratulations to all of them and uh, to the Antwerp Archers for winning the championship of the Boys Varsity Route 49 Classic. I want to say a big thank you once again 
to uh, Matt Ripke, the AD, and the athletic department here at Eden High School for allowing us the space and uh, giving us permission to live stream the coverage that we did from the Route 49 Classic for you from here at Eden High School. We appreciate that very much. They made us feel very welcome. This is our, see, we even got this little cooler here. A little cooler filled with, filled with goodies. So sets them apart. Chris Warner gives them the five stars. So we want to thank them so very much. Also, again, we want to say a big thank you to uh, all of our underwriters making our coverage possible here on Hicksville Community Television, our Diamond Level supporters, the uh, Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio, and the Hicksville Pharmacy located in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio. Also, our Gold Level sponsor, Subway of Hicksville, proud supporters of the Subway Player of the Game, won tonight in the uh, consolation game by, uh, uh, the, the <laughs> I'm blanking out here, I'm sorry. I can't believe I'm doing this. About what? Alex Gordon. I just completely blanked out on who we gave the player oh. of the game to. I was like, I, and it was just like, pff, senior moment or something. <laughs> and I was I just zoning out wow, as usual. Wow, yeah, you're, you're, you're as bad. I'm, you make me feel better because you're even worse yeah, shape than I'm I am. Yeah, I'm just like off staring yeah, away. Yeah, I know. So anyway, Alex Gordon, winner of the <laughs> player of the game tonight. And uh, also to the, uh, the Hicksville Bank, located in downtown Hicksville and online at www.thb.bank. Our bronze level supporter with us for all of our coverage of the Route 49 Classic basketball game. So thanks to all of them. And thanks to all of you, too, for joining us for the live stream. Hope you enjoyed the coverage from uh, Eden High School this evening. So with that, we're going to wrap it up once again. Uh, and also, this is our last live stream again of 2021. So thank you for being with us uh, for uh, all of 2021. We look forward to more good things happening in 2022. And for all of you, we hope you have a safe and happy New Year weekend coming up. And we look forward to uh, joining you again uh, when we resume our uh, coverage of Aces uh, basketball and other things in 2022, beginning with uh, our next basketball coverage. will be... Uh, junior high girls basketball action on Tuesday, January the 4th. So uh, with that, I uh, just want to one more time, final scores in the consolation game. It was the Aces beating the Edgerton Bulldogs 45-37. to And here in the nightcap in the championship game, Antwerp defeats the Eden Bombers 58-38, to the final score. And with that, for Chris Warner running the iPad Pro camera, I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television. Thanks once again for joining us tonight. And may all of you have a good night. And good sports. Happy New Year, too. <laughs>